I don't got to hurt you. God will. You know, you're feeling for no reason, bro. You built your own hatred off looking at me. What's wrong with you? You can't stop what God built, bro. What's good, you guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm Tamaria, and I go by Tamaria Lakate on all my socials. So feel free to follow me on your favorite one. Tonight, I just wanted to go ahead and get it off my chest about what I'm feeling about the last two episodes that I watched on Love is Blind. It started off with Marissa and Ramsey talking about, you know, not having enough sex or having too much sex and then creating a child, which is, you know, something that they want to do according to a timeline, but now they can't agree on a timeline. And so it's causing like a, a conflict in their relationships. I feel bad that Marissa has to feel like she's scared that she's not going to fuck her nigga enough and that he's going to cheat on her. And then I can also feel like, or I can also relate to Ramsey wanting to wait a long time before they actually have kids so that they can just really enjoy each other. Because once you bring kids into, you know, your relationship, it becomes a completely different dynamic. And he's in love with her right now he wants to spend time and enjoy her right now but it's really difficult because the whole entire process is rushed and then on top of the whole entire process being rushed now she wants to rush him into having kids and he's like no like five years really go by pretty fast on your ass so why are you thinking like you want to rush into having kids you would really want to sit down finish school Enjoy your nigga while you have the opportunity to. And then once you get a little bit older, then, you know what I'm saying, pop you if you out if that's what you still want to do. But it's like, is Marissa only wanting to do that because she wants to lock Rams down for good for life? She thinks maybe that will lock him in and down for good for life. Because, like, why are you rushing it? You know, you want to be a lawyer. And it's like you're already complaining about the amount of stuff that you have to do when it comes to like your commute and maintaining your relationship now why would you want to bring a kid into it on top of that so Ramsey seems like he's getting a little bit frustrated about you know what I'm saying some of the things going on in the relationship and I'm not gonna lie Ramsey he looks like he gives me bye vibes I don't know what it is but well, I do know what it is, but it's just the vibe that I get from him. He gives me very much bisexual. And, like, there has been some men that I've seen that's been bisexual. And I'm like, or at least, you know what I'm saying, bisexual, gay. And I'm like, damn. Damn, they look good. It's just something about that sensitive side. But that's neither here nor there. Done. Rams and Melissa do seem like they do have at least the intentions of wanting to please each other they want to be enough for each other but baby I don't know I don't know I just I don't know what's gonna go on with them now you know what I'm saying apart from the um conversations that they've been having they don't have any other major problems I feel like they vibe well together they communicate effectively um they communicate more effectively than the other couples. <sighs> Moving on to Tim and Alex. Tim and Alex are, they, they're very stubborn in their communication patterns. But I've noticed, so Tim will say something. And then basically the response that he's looking for from Alex is a, a baby, I heard you. Um, I start, I'm sorry you feel that way and, um, I'll do better to work on whatever it is that we're talking about. But instead, Alex is like, you know what I'm saying? Taking what he's saying and then using it to like, kind of like, well, you're not perfect either. So I'm going to say this about you. Instead of just really listening to what Tim has to say and listening to what Tim is saying, he feels like, like she just wants to be like, okay, you're not per perfect. I'm not perfect. Um, but what are we going to do? And so <laughs> I get where she's coming from when she's like, I can't read your mind. 
And it's like, yeah, nobody, nobody can really read nobody's mind. But I mean, energy really ain't that hard to pick up on. And, um, as a person, like, you just know when you're trying to get over on somebody, you just know, you know, and another person knows when you're trying to get over on them too. So when you just don't do what is the right thing, it just makes it an uncomfortable situation for, you know what I'm saying? Both people that are involved because now they have to, once again, use their words to try to verbalize what they felt, right? That um, energy signal that they felt within their body that said you were not moving according to love. You know what I'm saying? When it, that energy signal that says, oh, this doesn't feel like love. This doesn't feel like safety. And it makes people want to run away from you. Like, now they have to use words to tell you that their signals on the inside of them are going off because you fucking with them. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's t It's very tiring, very exhausting to try to explain some shit to somebody like they like people be knowing what the fuck they be doing like people aren't that unself-aware but I feel like people just look for ones that they feel like you know what I'm saying oh they can tolerate a lot of my bullshit right and then they fuck around and find out right some people fuck around and find out early some people find out and fuck around late but either which way people will find out and fuck around who who finna be played with and who not finna be played with and Tim and Alex Tim said he not finna play with her no more. He said he not finna play with her no more. And uh, I was just like, damn, he had just did that proposal to her dad. He crying, daddy crying. He didn't wrote that letter. The music is playing. And now he just gonna end a relationship with her like that on TV after... But I mean, I feel like Alex, she handled it well. Like she wasn't on no crybaby ass shit. <laughs> she she handled it well. She was like, he don't want to fuck with me. Okay, that's that's absolutely fine. Like you know what I'm saying? If there's there's a, a, a probably a, a a million trillion. No, I'm not gonna say a trillion, but she's gonna be like, there's so many other Tims out there. You know what I'm saying? Because Tim is a very popular name. It's a very popular person so is Alex but <clears throat> I just love how she didn't like overreact and was like oh my god I'm so sad he left I mean yes <sighs> they were in this experience together I felt like she gave it her best according to who she is right and the thing about it is Tim sees her to be a certain way that she's not like that's the thing when you come into a relationship with somebody they have this idea of who they want you to be what they want you to do what they want you to say what what they want you to feel like what they want you to think like what they want you to look like what you know what I'm saying they have this idea of you right and you might you might you might fit that description like a certain percentage right and then when you don't fit it 100 percent then they start to like be like oh my god what is this what is going on you know what i'm saying this is not exactly what i want but it's probably something that you need that you're gonna be able to learn from grow from where it's like okay whatever you're giving right and you add on to whatever it is that you're giving like you're you're gonna get more out of that but if you just like decide to not give more and he has this expectation or this perfect idea of what you know every scenario would happen in his relationship with his wife and then you know there's real life right there's the reality of it right so you're giving up after not being able to create a sturdy foundation upon like You're you're wanting to build a life with someone, but you can't even put in the work that it takes to get through like a day or a week or a month because of, you know, little small things that will happen <clears throat> within the relationship and within life. Right. Like, OK, she she didn't text you. OK, she didn't help you wash the dishes. 
But at the same time, like she said, like, if that's something you want, then you have to let me know, right? Most of the time, it's the women, you know what I'm saying, saying, I need help, I, don't, I need that. And then they didn't, we didn't let them, that let them know, and then they still don't do it. But in this particular case, it was Tim who needed some help with the dishes, and Alex was nowhere to be found. But, um... Yeah, they 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 didn't they didn't ended it. They're now out of the game. They're not playing. Hannah and Alex didn't make it. When Hannah or hold on, Hannah and what's his name? What is that man's name? Hannah and her dude. Her dude. I feel like he. He don't even know if he really like women. Right. I don't. I don't think he know. He said he was into football, and that was all he was into. He ain't never been loved, none of that. And then the way he was talking when he was talking with her and her friends, it just seemed like he wanted Hannah to be his motherfucking, uh, his beard, you know. He wanted a wife to be a beard so he could be in the dark doing gay shit. That's the vibe that I get from him. Then we have Taylor and Garrett. Um, they are struggling just a little bit because he got a message from his ex or something. They always get a message from the ex. And so he didn't really be honest with her about how he responded to that message. And so that kind of sent her spiraling. But they're pretty much still the only couple who looks like they're going to get a yes. And then, oh, Ashley and Tyler right Ashley and Tyler they look like they're doing really good they just jumped out of a plane together and that was like a symbolization of them taking a leap of faith that they are supposed to be together and get married so we did talk about <clears throat> we did talk about Tyler springing it on Ashley last minute that he had three sperm babies so apparently he has gay friends right and then his gay friends wanted a baby and he gave them three three and so Ashley was like I just want to know the details about you and these sperm babies and then she was like have they ever seen you and he was like uh, I don't know I don't think so and I'm just like first of all Ashley that's not enough questions you need to ask him okay do you have any contact with the kids or are you helping provide for the kids so you said you don't know if they ever seen you. Have you and your friends not talked about it? Did they pay you for it? You know, she just, she didn't ask enough questions and maybe she did ask those questions and they just cut it out and we couldn't see it. But that's like, you know what I'm saying? That's more information to be needing to know about, right? But eventually she said, you know, Tyler, you're just so amazing and I just don't care. How many sperm babies you got? I want to be with you. And she's still deciding to be with Tyler. So I'm not sure. Tyler, um, you know, if he keeps something like that from her. He did have a, a slightly good reason. He was like, he felt like God told him that um, he wanted them or he wanted Tyler to help out the couple to have the baby since they wanted babies. But, you know, God, I'm pretty sure God told you to tell Ashley about them kids too, Tyler. And you didn't tell her so until the last minute. But we'll see how it goes. So, so far, we got one and two possibles. So, Marissa and Ramsey, I don't know. Tyler and Ashley, I don't know. Hannah and Garrett, I'm still rooting on a yes, but I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, um, apart from that, I'll be watching um, Pop the Balloon. Pop the Balloon for Las Vegas. I watched the one, the SNL Empire, and then I watched Kicking It With Too Cold in Indianapolis. So the one with SNL Empire is from New York and they did an episode last weekend that was absolutely hilarious. These are so yeah, these are random people that they find um to audition to be on their um like dating show and it's so funny. The one they just did from New York 
Baby, that one was hilarious. Oh my God. Y'all have to go watch it. Y'all have to go watch it. I posted a little bit of a um, snippet of it from, um, I posted a snippet of it in my YouTube shorts. So that shit was hilarious. But um, that was pretty much it. So I'm waiting to see what's going to happen with Love is Blind. Uh, I need to stop watching it because it's starting to get on my nerves now. Because at this point, it's like, baby. At least it's just not, you know what I'm saying? Like, the people is people in everywhere. You know what I'm saying? They people in everywhere. But I will see y'all in the next video. If you watched it to the end, um, stop being goofy and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And go ahead and turn on the post notifications. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.